what I like about the room is it gives me kind of the glue that holds the drum kit together. And, and when I'm mixing, I could turn this thing off and on, depending on if I'm looking for excitement. If this snare buzz roll thing got a little too messy, I could duck it back down and push it on the downbeats of the chorus to make it jump. My favorite compressor on the rooms, on rooms that are blown up like that, is maybe even blow it up a little more with some ADR vocal stressors, uh, hardware-wise. So I'm gonna just give you that real quick. Very extreme setting. That might not be the setting I'm gonna use, and I might EQ that a bit, but the idea is to make it even a little more crazy. Um, how I would emulate that in the box is um, Waves has a couple of plugins that I really have taken a liking to, and it's the Pi Limiter and also the Helios channel. Here is the um, same section of the song. Not as blown up as the ADRs, obviously, but very cool sounding. <laughs> Go a little more extreme here. So that right there, I'm just by shifting the mid-range, I'm also changing the sound of the focus of my room from being a little more kick-oriented to more snare-oriented. I'm gaining some length on my snare drum without trying to put some artificial reverb on it. I'm gaining some length on my kick drum too by doing that. This is one side of the room and I'm gonna bypass it and you can see how extreme it is. Pretty lame without this stuff in there, right? This Helios is really adding a nice focus to the snare drum and the kick drum, and depending on where I push this bottom end. And when I kick the pie in, check out what it does. So to me, what this does, man, this Pi Limiter itself is just a control freak. It's one of the fastest compressors ever on stuff like percussion. If you ever want a shaker just to stick out or a tambourine, not to have so many wild swings, that Pi is fantastic. It's great on acoustic guitar. Um, it's amazing on rooms or just limiting a little bit on vocals. And I'm using it in this case just to, to give it a little bit of compactness to this room and then using this Helios for just some color. You know, the, the beauty of the Helios is it's a different EQ. And what I really like about it is that it doesn't sound like anything else. It, it's got this kind of old school flavor to it. And I have a lot of original Helios pieces, but obviously the option of a working Helios anytime I need one and as many instances of it as I need is a really nice thing. It's an interesting EQ. I would highly recommend experimenting with these two. And part of the theory is multiple instances of little bits of compression to me is cooler. I could go super extreme on this. I, don't, I don't, actually don't think that this is very extreme. Um, this is really just kind of taking the sound that's already there and making it more upfront and crazier. But even two or three instances of this pie together, just each doing a little bit could be a pretty cool thing. Also, if you want a little more bottom, put in two or three of these Helios in, in chain is, is actually pretty cool. So that's the excitement factor right there, and it's my newest favorite pair of plugins. And I'd like to use them quite a bit on the drums, on the rooms especially. So listen to that snare in there. time on that too.